It's July and it's getting hot, just like the deals at Appalachian Wireless. All month, get the Samsung Galaxy S8 for just a penny with a two-year agreement. But don't wait because the deal ends soon. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. A Pike County grand jury has indicted three people in an alleged murder in Pikeville earlier this month. According to court documents, 22-year-old Michigan resident Antoine Wilson is charged in a five-count indictment in the July 2nd murder of Amari Hall, who had been staying at a residence at Sunny Lane in Pikeville. Also indicted were 22-year-old Coley Maxwell of Detroit and a subject identified in the indictment as John Doe. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said Hall was shot to death and two other people were shot and injured in the incident. The three men came down from Detroit early that morning, sat around and talked to these people for a few minutes because they were all known to each other. And we're not exactly sure why, but the three people that were indicted jerked out guns and began shooting. Uh, a safe was in the home that had been opened, but it was closed by the time the police got there. But there was evidence that there was money and drugs in the safe. Bartley said the incident is likely drug related. We think that part of the motive here was the three people came down from Michigan to steal drugs and money. Now, there was a relationship between all these people beforehand. So we sort of think that what went on was there was a disagreement about the money or the drugs, and the three people from Michigan came down to straighten out that disagreement by killing the people in the house. All three of those indicted are charged with murder, two counts of first-degree assault and first-degree robbery. Coley Maxwell is also charged with being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun. Antoine Wilson is in custody in Michigan and will be extradited back to Pike County. Arrest warrants have been issued for Coley Maxwell. Bartley said police are working to identify John Doe, named in the indictment. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.